A five-year-old boy is so frustrated with digital learning, he put his head down and started crying. And this Did you know that less than half of federal spending goes to services such as education and sanitation? This impacts so many fam families with kids in special education or otherwise. A con of the federal government involvement in education is that it can reduce help for students with special needs, which means that families can get the federal government's help with education. A con of the federal government's involvement in education is that it can lead to better individualized educational approaches. Like, I need to hear and understand me, help me work out my problems, and help me get back on track. The SSI does help families with special children. They give monthly payments to the families. Families like these get the help that helps their families move along in the economic world we call home. Although the SSI does help families, some families do not get the help they deserve. The SSI has requirements for their services to be given to families with children that have special needs. Families like these do not get the help they deserve for them and their kids. Here tonight, ABC 15's Danielle Lerner taking action for these families who tell us they're feeling forgotten. The online learning was just not possible. Jane Anderson is frustrated and deeply concerned. Two of her four children are soon to be freshmen at Perry High School in Gilbert. Identical twin boys, both with special needs. Nathan is on the autism spectrum and has ADHD. Maddie is blind with palsy and epilepsy. The government does not help children with special needs like they say they do. In fact, the government does not have a designated amount of money for funding. So families in different states do not get as much as funding as other families. The government can help special education or education in general. They can help families like ours and families like yours. The SSI can as well. The only thing is that the economy we live in is more complicated when it comes to education. It becomes so complicated, but it does not have to be. As a kid, we do not have to worry about it for now, but there are families out there who deal with this every day, and they're struggling with no one to help them out. They must find other ways to help their child learn. What if this was you? What would you do?